Hello and welcome to your Simplified Coin Review. So today we are going to be looking at the Chinese rankings. We're going to be looking at each one of these on CoinMarketCap.com. We don't obviously have time to go over them all in depth. I'm just going to give a brief overview on the 28 that we're ranked. So remember this is not an all-encompassing list. These are just the 28 cryptos that China picked to rank. So obviously they see value in all 28 or else they wouldn't have even picked them. But, you know, China has had a real change in cryptocurrency going from we ban crypto and we hate it to ranking blockchain projects. So what could the reason for this be? So the reason for this is because China no longer sees crypto as strictly a rebellion against the government or against their currency. They're starting to see value in the underlying blockchain technology, and they're starting to see how it can actually help them. We did a story, interestingly enough, Walton Chain is not on the list. We did a story a couple weeks ago about a conspiracy about how maybe China is actually behind Walton Chain. So I don't know if this actually goes to deepen that conspiracy or what, but it was a fun conspiracy to look at. So we're going to start out at number 28. We have NIM. NIM is ranked number 14 on Coin Market Cap, and they ranked it at number 28. So I think China doesn't think very highly of NIM because while this is not an all encompassing list, you have to consider that out of the 28 cryptos here, they thought NIM was the absolute worst. So the top 15 of these cryptos in this list, they gave specific scores for. Numbers 28 through 16, they do not have scores for to show us exactly where they rank them lowest on. Once we get to the top 15, we'll actually look at the scores. So as I mentioned, NIM is ranked number 14. They don't think it's very innovative. I think that the thing about NIM is it started as a project that's got a, had a lot of promise, but we see it just continuing to fall. It was in the top 10 at one time. So next we have HShare or HCash uh, coming in at number 27. So is ranked number 51. I'm going to be honest with you guys, I don't know a ton about this project, but it ranked 27. So don't really know if it's something I should look into. If you are a fan of it, drop us a comment below. Next we have Decred coming in at number 26. Uh, Decred is one we just did a review on. I like their supply. I like a lot of stuff about it. But one thing I don't like about it is just the fact that there's a lot of competition. And I know their community has responded to me and said, you know, that basically none of that matters because it is the best one and it will pass uh, all of the other store of value cryptocurrencies. I don't know if that's true, but it is very innovative. It's very community driven, but they ranked it pretty low. So interestingly enough, one of the biggest competitors to Decred is Bitcoin Cash because it ranks so much higher than it on Coin Market Cap. As you can see, Decred is 32 and Bitcoin Cash is number four, yet they just rank Decred right behind Bitcoin Cash. So that may show that Decred is starting to charge ahead. So Bitcoin Cash is number 25 on the list. It's ranked number four. There was a big pump when it went on Coinbase, but ever since then, the only excitement that seems to be about Bitcoin Cash is actually just within the Bitcoin Cash community. So next we have Nano coming in at number 24. It's ranked number 31 on CoinMarketCap. Uh, I believe that Nano has a lot of good technology. I think they have a bad marketing team, which you know may be why they're not doing well in the markets. But yet, China thought they were ranked pretty low. So they ranked them near the bottom of the list. Nano seems to be stuck in the mud. It, it just can't seem to move forward. Next, we have Zcash, which had quite the pump lately as it was announced. It would be going on uh, the Gemini trading platform. Some people think that might be an indicator. It's also going on Coinbase, not financial advice. But it ranks 20 on Coin Market Cap, but it ranks number 23 on the Chinese rankings. So next, we have a, a project coming in at number 22 that I actually really like, Arc. It's all about interoperability between blockchains. And it's ranked 61 on Coin Market Cap. I think it's actually undervalued. And it's hard to know exactly why China ranked it this low because we can't look at the individual scores that we'll look at in the top 15. But I was disappointed to see ARK rank so low on this list. I think <laughs> there's definitely some things in the top 15 that I don't think should be there. So we'll get to that in a minute. So next we'll look at Litecoin. Litecoin, they also ranked very low at 21. Didn't even give it scores on the spreadsheet that they gave people to look at. It's currently ranked number six on Coin Market Cap, And, you know, we'll look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin actually was ranked pretty low as well. I think Litecoin and Bitcoin both, not even really put them in the same boat because obviously Bitcoin is, you know, the, the godfather of all cryptos. But, you know, Bitcoin and Litecoin both 
are store value. So they're they're really just for trading value in currency between or making you know digital purchases and transactions and things like that. Uh, and they don't really do anything outside of that. And I think that probably hurt both of them in their rankings. Next, coming in at number 20, we have Bitcoin. So Bitcoin has had quite the, the week here recently. Uh, a lot of people are buying into it. As you can see, it's ranked number 18 on coin market cap. I just I feel like I can't trust any numbers I see with Bitcoin because they change so drastically every day. As you can see here on coin market cap, it says it's currently under maintenance or experiencing wallet issues. Deposits and withdrawals have been enabled on Binance. So for a, a period of time, they were not enabled, which made you know trying to buy, sell, and trade it there pretty sketchy. But Bitcoin, you know, if you're a fan of Bitcoin, let us know what you like about it. It's one that I specifically am staying away from, at least until there's a lot more stability with it. So next, coming in at number 19, SiaCoin. So SiaCoin is, uh, there's $34 billion in the circulating supply. It's only at about two pennies right now. There was a lot of excitement about SiaCoin back in January before we had the crash, obviously. And it was back up on a climb, but over the last couple weeks, it's been heading back down again. So they ranked it at number 20. But on CoinMarketCap, it is ranked at number 35. Next, we have Dash. So Dash stands for Digital Cash, and it is coming in at number 18 on the Chinese rankings. On CoinMarketCap, it is ranked number 12. It was at one point as high as, I believe, like $1,200. Let's see what the peak was. Uh, $1,500, $1, and right now it's at $384. So it's only at 20% of what it was at the peak. And, you know, I recently did a story on Dash. I love their team. I love that they're very transparent. And uh, I think that it is something that the community doesn't just need more of, but it's absolutely vital in our community. So another one I was pretty shocked by is Ripple coming in at number 17. Uh, it's number three on CoinMarketCap.com. And, of course, we all know the controversy about decentralization for centralization and things like that. But Ripple, to me... Even though I don't like what it's doing for centralization, the technology behind it is absolutely incredible. Every product they put out, uh, we talked about the X Rapid a couple weeks ago or last week, it is truly innovative and it is making the, the banking world, is turning it up on its head with the, the speed of the transactions. So I think the ripple, the technology with it is very high. I think that there is use case with it. So I was really surprised to see it rank so low. So coming in at number 16, we have Ethereum Classic. So Ethereum Classic was started by Charles Hoskinson, who right now is involved in Cardano, was one of the original founders of uh, Ethereum, and it is ranked number 16 on the Chinese rankings and 17 on CoinMarketCap. So I think that right there shows they're probably pretty dead on with uh, their analysis of it. The CoinMarketCap is, is relatable to their ranking, so I think that that's pretty good. So coming on at number 15, we have Wave. So now we can start looking at the scores. So they score them based on infrastructure technology, applicability, and creativity, or you could look at these last two as use case or innovation. So Waves came in at number 15 on their rankings. They had a 58.2 for infrastructure, 12.3% for use case, and 16% for creativity. The, the number in here I would like to look at is the applicability. I think the Waves does have a lot of use case because it's an exchange, a token launching platform, and a wallet. So that score specifically uh, really surprised me. Uh, Waves right now is number 39. We've said we believe it is very undervalued for where it is. And it could be one, not financial advice, that you would want to do your own research on and look into investing because I do believe it is going to be in the top 20 before you know it. And I think this ranking shows that China feels pretty good about where Waves is going. So here is the Cinderella story, if you will. The shocker of all shockers are the next two. So we have Verge coming in at number 14 on the Chinese rankings. Uh, they gave it a 66 for infrastructure, which is one of the higher numbers. They gave the applicability uh, an 11, which I would agree with that. Creativity 11, I agree with that. If you don't know Verge, it was called Dogecoin Dark at one time. And it's recently been in the news for a partnership with Pornhub. And it's a sketchy coin. I would stay away from this personally if I were you. It's coming at number 28 on CoinMarketCap. It seems like just that coin that just uh, won't die uh, for whatever reason. It just seems to keep pushing through and actually making progress. 
even though I don't think there's anything good behind it. So if you're a Verge fan, I'm really sorry <laughs> that I'm really dogging on your coin, but that's honestly the way I feel about it. I feel like the whole thing is a giant scam, and I'm not a big fan. So for China, to put it at number 14 is shocking, but what did it put it in front of? Bitcoin. Bitcoin is coming in at number 13. Of course, number one on coin market cap and number one in all your hearts and minds. And yet they rank Verge ahead of Bitcoin. So this is obviously the most shocking aspect of this list. And I, I think the reason for this is pretty simple. I think the reason is just because Bitcoin was the first. And so it lacks, especially in the infrastructure. So as you see, it came in with actually the lowest score on infrastructure. Uh, we don't know who the founder is. We don't know who created it. We don't know if they're alive. <laughs> you know, we don't know. We can't pick their brain to see what they think about certain aspects. And, you know, that's why with creativity, though, it got the highest score because it was the first. But, you know, the first to do something, I mean, look at MySpace or look at Napster. Like, obviously, those are two websites that have gone completely by the wayside, but they paved the road for what was next. And, you know, we're at this point in crypto history where we don't know what Bitcoin is going to be. We don't know. Right now, the markets are completely tied to it. While Bitcoin dominance is less than 50%, it doesn't matter when it falls, things fall with it. It's really impossible unless you do like really, really intelligent day trading and you really know what you're doing. It's almost impossible to make money when Bitcoin is going down, unless you're shorting it, of course. So I think that, you know, I, I'm a little upset that it was ranked so low. I'm very upset it was ranked uh, below Verge. But at the same time, I understand, you know, and this is where this ranking, I think, is really good for the crypto community because it's like a fresh set of eyes on all these different projects. And it's it's people that don't seem to be coming in with a bias. If this list was biased, I believe Neo would probably be number one, even though I feel like it could be number one because it is a Chinese project. But I think that's the big uh, scandal on this list is Bitcoin being ranked so low and below Verge. So next we have BitShares. Coming in at number 12, it's ranked number 34 on CoinMarketCap. This is a Dan Larimer started project. We've talked about Dan Larimer being a bit of a serial entrepreneur and jumping around. And one, one thing to point out on this list is that all of these are coins. None of these are tokens. So BitShares is a coin. It's coming in at number 34, like I mentioned. Number 12 on the Chinese rankings. It was on a pretty good climb during what we thought might have been the bull run. It's turning out to possibly be a bull trap. So I don't really know that much about BitShares, to be honest with you guys, or uh, Quantum, which will be next. So let's move on to that one. Quantum ranks number 21, and it came in at number 11 on the Chinese rankings. Quantum has seen a lot of sideways action since about the beginning of March. And like I said, I don't really know much about this project, so I don't really know enough to comment on whether or not it's where it should be. So Stratus, I think probably coming in about where it should be. So it's ranked number 41 on coin market cap, but we've talked about before, we feel like this coin is undervalued. So Stratus talk, uh, kicks off the top 10 in the rankings. So let's look at what they ranked Stratus as. They gave a 60 in infrastructure, a 20 in applicability, and a 12 in creativity for an overall score of 91. So it didn't finish that far behind the next coin, but... We, at the channel, we like Stratus. We think it is a good investment in all financial advice, uh, something to look into. They are trying to lower the barrier for entry for developers to start getting into blockchain. So I think that's really good. I think maybe the creativity number could have been a little higher, but that's okay. So at number nine, we have Monero, rank number 13 on CoinMarketCap, probably about right where it should be. So this is pretty interesting because China has really been critical of privacy coins, where people are able to stay anonymous in purchases, and yet they rank Monero pretty high. So I think that goes to show that the underlying technology behind Monero, I think Monero is by far the best privacy coin. Most likely, if there's one privacy coin standing at the end of whatever kind of crypto consolidation we'll see, I believe it will be Monero. So I think it's a pretty fair ranking. Uh, as far as the individual numbers go, they gave it a 11 for applicability, which I think is a little low considering the purpose of it is for private transactions. So I think they actually may have been able to rank it a little bit higher than it was. With creativity, they gave it a 15, so not a good score there. So IOTA coming in at number 8. Uh, it is ranked number 9 on CoinMarketCap. And I believe this is a fair number. IOTA is a great coin. I think what it's trying to do is incredible. It is not a blockchain project. They use what's called the Tangle Infrastructure 
It, they're making new partnerships every day. They have an incredible marketing team. The question with IOTA is, will they be the final Internet of Things? It's similar to the Monero privacy uh, discussion. Will they end up being the Internet of Things coin of choice? So I think that's yet to be seen. So IOTA has a lot yet to prove. So I feel like they really ranked it pretty dead on accurate here. As far as creativity, they gave it a 17.4, which is one of the higher scores. And I think that's probably pretty accurate. So let's move on to number seven, Cardano. We've done a review on Cardano. Uh, believe Cardano is a great coin. It's ranked number seven on both CoinMarketCap.com and the Chinese rankings. It's the only one that's exactly where it should be uh, on both uh, so, of course, the Chinese rankings don't include the ERC-20, so EOS is ahead of it on CoinMarketCap.com, but yet it isn't on this ranking list. So we like Cardano. We think it's a very scientifically based uh, coin and that it has a lot of potential, especially for where the price is. Right now it's only $0.24 cents or so. I think this is a steal right now where it's at. So rank number eight on CoinMarketCap and number six on the Chinese rankings is Stellar. Uh, Stellar comes in. It's about 31 cents right now. It is the cousin to Ripple, if you will. They both have the same founder with uh, Jed McCaleb, who is also involved in Mt. Gox or founded Mt. Gox. So they have a strong team behind them, and they're like the decentralized version of Ripple, but there's also a lot of things that are different about it. They have a huge partnership with IBM, and so I think that really propels it to be pretty high on the list. If we look at its Chinese ratings here, they gave Stellar a 70 in infrastructure, which is very high, 18 in use case, probably due to the partnership, and an 11 on creativity, which makes sense because it started out very similar to Ripple, but of course, as time has gone on, they've gone their separate ways. So the, the second biggest surprise behind Bitcoin is Komodo coming in at number five on the list. It's number 59 in coin market cap. And this is one that until this wasn't really on my radar. So obviously it followed the predictable crash. And I really can't comment specifically about Komodo because I do not know much about the project. But I, I should probably start looking into it a little more. These rankings have shown me that there's a couple coins out there that I haven't done uh, reviews on that I don't know that much about. The China Sea is very high, so I need to look into. So this is definitely one of those. So, and if we look at the ratings on it, they gave it a 28.5 on creativity, which was the second highest score behind Bitcoin. So I think what they're doing must be pretty unique, and that gets me excited to look into it. So at number four, I thought would probably be higher on this list because it is called the Ethereum of China, is NEO. It's ranked number 11 on CoinMarketCap. Uh, we've also talked about how we believe NEO is one of our coins that is set to moon when the next bull run comes. Incredible technology at $58, an absolute steal. I don't know what the lowest it's been in, but it's pretty close. I guess it was as low as $46 at one point. But I think that NEO is going places. I think because of the platform it has and the NEP5 tokens, they're like ERC20s, but for NEO, I think this coin is going places and it's going places in a hurry as soon as the market's turned around. So pretty excited about it. I'm excited about some of the projects on it. Uh, the key, ontology, deep brain chain, a lot of these are net five tokens, and I, I really like what almost all of them are doing. I believe HPB also is a net five token, so very exciting times for NEO. As far as where they rated it at, they gave it the third highest score for infrastructure applicability. It actually had the highest score, which I think is really cool. But creativity, they gave it the the low of seven point three, which makes sense because. It's called the Ethereum of China because it's copying Ethereum, basically, except for in China. Uh, it's the second most used platform behind Ethereum, like I said. So the creativity score really weighed NEO down, or it could have been higher on the list. Now to Lisk. So Lisk coming in at number three. The third biggest surprise on here, in my opinion, uh, would be Lisk. It's ranked 24 on CoinMarketCap, yet it came in at number three. Uh, this is one that we just talked about in the news. They are testing their beta version of the Core 1, they had some development updates on it. We talked about what that is. They gave it a very high score on infrastructure, a very high score on applicability, and a pretty high score on creativity. Other than Ethereum, I think it's the most well-rounded scored crypto on this list. It was a 64 on infrastructure, a 21 on applicability, and a 20 on creativity. So there was, like, you know, we talked about with Neo how the creativity weighed it down. 
Uh, there was nothing really to weigh list down. It didn't have any huge marks against it, and that is why it did so well. So number two, another surprise, Steam coming in. Uh, and number two was number 30 on Coin Market Cap. We just did a review on Steam. We look at the numbers. They gave it an 82 on infrastructure, the highest on infrastructure, which is pretty surprising. Applicability, they actually gave it a 9, which is a little confusing to me because I feel like it has the most use case. People are using it other than Ethereum, and yet the, the infrastructure score was the highest. So a lot of people really like the underlying technology behind Steam. And what I think this speaks to is the mind of Dan Larimer. He's really an intelligent human that knows what he's talking about with coding and crypto. And I think that that probably is, is where the creative score comes from. Also, it had a 24, which was the third highest uh, score in creativity. So the applicability weighed it down. But that, like I said, that confuses me because I feel like it has use case with Steemit. People are using it, rewarding people all the time on there. I use it. But check me out on DTube. Uh, BitBoy and Huddle is my username there, but it came in at number two. So number one, we have Ethereum, an 80 on infrastructure, 24 on applicability, 25 on creativity. I think that this just speaks to Ethereum's platform. Everybody wants to build on it. So many tokens are built on this platform. It dwarfs NEO when it comes to the number of tokens it has currently built or being built on it. Uh, it's an open source platform. Anybody can jump on there and, and build out from it. And Ethereum is truly innovative. And I think that people talk a lot about the flippening. They talk about when will Ethereum pass Bitcoin? Well, from a fresh, unbiased, supposedly unbiased set of eyes from China, it shows Ethereum is much more technologically advanced than Bitcoin. So I don't know if that will lead to it passing Bitcoin at some point, but this is some strong evidence, if you're a fan of Ethereum, that it could go much higher from here. I think that, uh, you know, by the end of the year, I think it being in the $2,500 range is probably a realistic option, not financial advice. Anything above that would probably be, uh, means just we've absolutely gone to the moon with crypto. But I think what you'll see is the continued weakening of Bitcoin against Ethereum, the continued growing of Ethereum. And I think Bitcoin has a real problem on its hands when it comes to trying to defend that number one ranking. I don't see anything else in the top 10 that can challenge Bitcoin right now. Uh, some people would probably say like EOS or Tron if they build this new internet. I think we're way away from that, but Ethereum is definitely a threat. I think these rankings show that. So I hope you've enjoyed our video as we look at this, these Chinese rankings. It was a fun project for me to look at and, and to see where all these were ranked. We got some surprises in there with Bitcoin being ranked behind Verge, Verge being ranked so high, Lisk, Steam all being ranked high, Neo showing that it is probably about where it should be, uh, Stellar, Cardano, the same thing. So let us know what you think about this list. If you really disagree with any of these or if you have some that you really feel like uh, were ranked too low or too high or whatever, I'd love to get you guys, uh, I'd love to get your input and your engagement on this post. Don't forget about our contest we are running. Uh, you can check out the video information below. Subscribe to our channel. Uh, like this video. Make a comment on all the videos between the 12th and the 20th. We'll get you one entry. I think we're going to do a live stream where we're going to pick the winner. I've got a pretty good system, I think, for how I'm going to pick it that will be pretty cool. Uh, we'll do probably the same system for all of our contests. So let us know what you think. Thanks for watching. That was your Simplified Coin Review.